Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Look at this eye look. I am in love with this palette. The palette I'm wearing is the Radioactive Palette from By Mellow Ops. I just reviewed this palette. I will link it somewhere on the screen. I think you're going to want to see it because this palette is something else. But that's not what this video is about. No, you clicked on this video because you clearly, like me, have an interest in faux freckles and faux freckle products that don't cost a ton of money. Why is it that all of the faux freckle companies are like incredibly expensive? And I get it. It's like a niche market. It's a new thing that people are just starting to want to buy an actual product for rather than to just use like an eyebrow pencil. So I get it. But luckily for my cheap self, ColourPop came out with a faux freckle product of their own and it was only $8. The shade I got is Soft Brown. They only had two shades, which I guess is fine for freckles. The soft brown shade they said should be for light to medium complexions, and then they had one other shade, I don't remember the name, but that was for deeper complexions. So, if you want to see me apply this faux freckle pen from ColourPop, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching. It's coming at you right now. Alright, I haven't even taken it out of the package yet, so shall we unbox this pen together? I like opening stuff on camera. I think it's fun for you. It's fun for me. I like watching videos and people open stuff for the first time. Okay, here it is. Oh, it's so cute. It's got little polka dots on it. Little freckles on the freckle pen. How fun. Okay, how much product do you get? You get 0.03 fluid ounces. Is that a lot? I don't know. That doesn't seem like a lot, but it's also like a freckle pen, so it's not like you're using it to do a winged eyeliner or anything. I don't know. Does anybody even care? Okay, honestly, my eyebrow pencil from L'Oreal is also 0.03 ounces, so that's what I normally use for my faux freckles, so these are actually the same amount of product, so cool that seems fair okay so before I put it on my face I do just want to do a little test on my hand oh my god it just looks like a marker it looks like an actual marker I thought it was gonna look more like an eyeliner pen this looks like it belongs in a children's marker set and you love to see it so I want to put a couple dots on the back of my hand not to be confused these are my actual freckles we're gonna go right here I'm just curious like Okay, it's very light. Honestly, a really good color. Those look like my regular freckles. Let me do one right next to my real freckle. Can you tell which one is which? It was that one. It's the one that didn't wipe away, but that actually didn't wipe away too much. Should I just start going to town? Should I just start freckling myself everywhere? Yes. Okay, it's like really light. Wow, I feel like you can't really see it. Okay, so if you push harder, they get a little bigger, which makes sense because more of the, the tip is touching your face. It's helping me to smile really big so that my cheeks get a little bit rounder, makes it a little bit sturdier of a surface, less squishy. Okay, I'm getting into a rhythm now, you guys. I can easily see myself getting very carried away with this. Who does the best faux freckles? Soso -so does makeup on Instagram. Her faux freckles are so good. I actually thought she had freckles up until a couple weeks ago where she posted a video tutorial of her doing them. And she uses L'Oreal Root Touch Up to do her faux freckles, which is like amazing to me. I don't know how that doesn't break her out because it's like kind of like hairspray. It's like hair dye. I don't know. That seems like it would break you out, but her skin is very beautiful. So clearly her skin must be pretty resilient, but I just think her faux freckles look so good. I actually tried making a video recreating that, but without using L'Oreal Root Touch Up. Like I tried to make my own like setting spray and like I added a bunch of brown pigment to it and I had to scrap that whole video. It was so bad, you guys. It looked horrible. It just looked like I got a bad spray tan. My whole face looked orange. I think you definitely, to make that work, need like an aerosol can. See, the problem with this is it's so subtle. I'm like, I don't know when to stop because I kind of am not like a subtle person when it comes to my makeup or I guess ever. I don't know. I, you, you tell me if you think I'm a subtle person, but I don't want it to look subtle. I want it to look realistic, but also like I have a million freckles and like I spend a lot of time in the sun and like I'm not stuck inside during a global pandemic. Let me stop 
stop for now before I actually get carried away. One could argue I've already gotten carried away, but let me cap on, put it down, take a moment, take a breath. Okay, so I know the lighting looks bad right now, but I wanted to make a little darker so I could show you what it looks like in person. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't love this so much. Oh my God. Does it look real? I don't know. I kind of don't care. I really don't care. Wow, you can't tell me anything. I've literally never looked cuter. As I say in every video, I understand I'm a very dramatic person. I know that maybe that's why you come here. You come here for the drama. But I promise I'm not being dramatic. This is really the cutest I've ever looked. I should have brought the lighting down like this the whole time because I too was looking in the viewfinder like, wow, they're looking too subtle for me. I wish they were a little darker. Um, no, this is fine. This is beautiful. This is fantastic. I feel amazing. It looks even cuter in person. You think it looks cute now, but you don't even understand how cute it is. Oh my God. Maybe I'll insert like a little clip of me on my phone so you can really see the real deal of what it looks like in person. Hi, it's me on my iPhone. Wow, look at me. I've literally never looked cuter. All right, wow, 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 wow. I feel like I don't even need to tell you my final thoughts because I think you can tell I love this. Thank you ColourPop for making a faux freckle product that doesn't cost a million dollars because I'm going to be using this every stinking day. I'm having so much fun. This look is so cute, wow. Now, I guess one last thing to consider would be, do you need this over just a brown felt tip eyeliner pen? And that I'm not quite sure because I haven't used a brown felt tip eyeliner in forever. I used to use the Skinny Eyeliner Liquid Eyeliner from Revlon. That's probably the last time I used a brown liquid liner. And I know for a fact that that one would be too dark. <laughs> and I feel like you don't see a lot of light brown eyeliners, so it would be kind of hard to find. But if I can't find one next time I'm at the drugstore, I'll definitely do a side-by-side -side comparison. I mean, this is only $8, but I also understand that not everybody can order online at ColourPop, or maybe not everybody wants to pay for the shipping and stuff like that. So if I can find a drugstore dupe, I will absolutely update you on that. But for now, I feel like this is good because it's a nice light brown color and it goes on already diffused. Whereas I know some of the other faux freckle products, you have to like go in and tap it out with your finger afterwards to make it look more realistic. I feel like this went on the perfect shade and didn't require any maintenance afterwards. So I definitely still think this is a product that is worth $8 to me and I would gladly recommend it to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Are you gonna pick this up? Do you even like the faux freckle? trend or like are, are you interested have you tried faux freckles before tell me everything I love talking about faux freckles I love talking about just makeup generally I love when you guys give me suggestions in the comments that's like my fuel that is my lifeblood <laughs> so definitely leave me a comment tell me if you're gonna get this or just telling me anything because I love to chat with you thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I post new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday I do a lot of weird beauty videos I like trying weird beauty products and I also like doing very colorful makeup graphic liner looks and I also like making videos about mental health occasionally so it's a good time over here I'd love to have you so if you want to subscribe that'd be super cute and also be sure to check out my description box for a ton of Black Lives Matter resources including petitions to sign places to donate and ways to help protesters please please make sure that you are staying informed about the Black Lives Matter movement and helping in any way that you can I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!